Hey, welcome everybody to season two of the Seven Minutes to Better Selling podcast. I'm your host, Colin Lake, a longtime friend. Um, I've known Bob for probably 40 years, 40 plus years. Bob is the director of a um, small group, which he calls it a small group. I would tell you it does amazingly large things um, called Recovery Solution. It is a firm based in or a group based in Pennsylvania outside the Philadelphia area. So welcome, Bob, and thanks for being with us. Hey, Colin, thanks for having me. Yeah, it's so happy to be with you, Bob. And as I said, we've known each other for a really, really long time. But I move up to Massachusetts 25 years ago, and we lose a little bit of touch. Um, so I'll ask you to share with me and with the listeners. So you graduate, you, you play football, college football at a high level, Division One, with some of the greats of whoever who played the game. You play the um, so you play football there. You graduate from Temple, and tell listeners where you get, you know, how you get from there to where you are today. Okay, so um, I graduated from Temple University in. 1992. Um, and my story might not be the same as others, but um, when I got out of college, I never worked in my field of study. I have two degrees from Temple. Um, and I'm not proud to say this, but when I got out, I, I actually lived a criminal lifestyle. Um, I, I did things that I shouldn't have been doing. And, and as I said, I'm not proud of it. However, um, by saying that, uh, there was a lot of drugs involved. I fell into drug addiction. Um, so they call it substance use disorder. Um, now I, I, I use heroin, cocaine, and methamphetamine and alcohol for 20 years. It's been broken inside of me. And, and I was filling that void with substance. And after a while, I, I couldn't find my way out. And to, to make a long story short, the way I got out of it 20 years later, my mother was sick. And um, yeah. I saw her every day, but I was absent in her life. And um, we, we loved each other very much, but she was in the hospital and I went to treatment for the last time. They let me leave treatment for um, a couple of hours um, under supervision to go see her. And, and when I went in the room, I didn't recognize her. Her wish was for me to be free from active addiction. She wanted me to start to love myself again. I was killing myself for decades. Mm. I told her I loved her and I left and went back to the treatment center. I said, I'll be back in a few weeks to get you. I was going to fix everything. The next day they called me in the office. Um, at the treatment center, she was dead. Mm, just gave me chills. Bob, l let me ask you this. You, I, I know you, um, like I say, for a long time, and I know you well. You're not a blamer. And once I started taking responsibility for my life and myself, I noticed some changes. And, and one of the things that, that I used was, was a mirror. You know, when I first got involved in 12 Step Fellowship, um, my sponsor told me to take a good look at myself. And a lot of people don't like doing that. And I looked in the mirror and I hate, I hate the person I saw. And, and I knew I had to change some things. And if you want to sell, the best thing you can sell, you can sell yourself. Mm. I'm telling you, first you sell yourself, but you have to believe in it. It can't be bullshit. It can't be a facade. It can't be window dressing. I look in the mirror, I could get a haircut. I could put on a new suit. I could have new shoes, you know, but I didn't change anything. The change has to take place on the inside. And that's what I had to learn. I learned it through a 12-step process. Um, yeah. I'll give you one example. You want to change something about yourself, you look in the mirror. You have to be honest with yourself. You know, The mirror will tell the truth. Facts will change, but the truth will remain the same. And that is true. The truth stands by itself. The truth will always be there. As long as you're willing not to live in denial. So you look in the mirror and you find out who you really are. So we look at ourselves and when we look at some defects, you know, we look at these defects. So, and one way to change is you, you, you identify your defects and you swap them out with a spiritual principle. So, so it, like dishonesty, you use honesty, closed mindedness, open mindedness, self-centeredness, selflessness, you know, hate, anger, control. You combat that with love. And when you start doing this, when you, when you look at these defects, you identify them and you swap them out with a spiritual principle, you'll notice the image in the mirror will change. It's not by mm. what you're wearing. The image in the mirror will change. And there comes a point you'll start to like the person in the mirror, you know? Yeah. You know, you know, the thing that I just, I, I heard you say, like I, that, that I, I listened to the whole thing, but the thing that I hear is it, it, you have to almost like 
ask yourself or, or like make yourself look in the mirror a couple of times. And then eventually you start making those changes. You start seeing the change and, and you, the human likes those changes. So then you're more inspired to look at that mirror again the next day. And then more inspired to make more of those changes. It's like this positive rolling snowball and getting bigger and bigger and making you a better and better you. That is a lot of truth to that. I have a lot of guys who in my community who I help. Um, and they always say, I, 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 I need better friends. I need honest friends, loyal friends, trustworthy friends. I tell them, be honest, be trustworthy, be loyal. And when you truly are living that way, that's inside. You change those things inside you. You live by those principles. You will actually see those principles in other people. And they're the people you surround yourself with. Um, Bob, I, I, I'm, I'm friends with you on Facebook. But tell the listeners, let, let me give you a little sell first. Bob has some amazing posts. You'll love Bobby's posts. I mean, they're, they're always straight up. They're always honest. Sometimes they're harsh, depending on, you know, what, what type of language you like and all that stuff. <laughs> but but th this guy is worth following. This guy is worth listening to. And this guy is worth paying attention to his recovery path. So my question to you, and if you would share with listeners, how do they find you in particular if they need help? Or okay, so uh, my Facebook page is open. All my social media is open. It's to the public. Um, I do receive messages every day, a lot of messages. It gets overwhelming. However, just to give direction, if someone needs direction, someone from another state, they need direction, we can find the resources for them. You know, we, it, it's yeah. simple. We, just just through social media and, and, and the um, internet today, we can find all the resources they need. Um, there's, your, there's your Facebook page right down the bottom there, everybody, for those listeners. It's right down there. So thank you. Go ahead, Bob. So what people really need to do is, they, they, I, what I need to do, I need it to believe in myself because I love my life that much and I'm no better than anyone. I'm just grateful. And that's it. Ah, that's beautiful. Beautiful. Bobby, thank you for joining us. Thanks for getting this thing reconnected and thanks for helping us all sell ourselves better. And please, if you, if you know anyone battling, please get in touch with this guy. He's something special. Good selling everyone and Merry Christmas to all. Merry Christmas, Colin. Have a happy New Year.